video and this is my last time using my phone to record okay so we back for part two of best friend dated my ex i'm going to assume that i left off at the part where my best friend and my crush ended up breaking up uh during the summertime so it was like the summer of like fifth grade going into sixth grade but kids just be doing stuff i swear to god after they dated and they broke up during that summer when we came back the next the next year we were all in the class together how i was feeling about it i mean technically technically in my mind like this is just how i'm processing it that he was my crush first <laughs> like i liked him first you know we just kind of just flirting with each other you know at school because we're all in the same class and stuff like that during recess and whatever whatever the case may be and we also have other friends in the mix um i may or may not try to come up with some names on the fly because um let's just call him t so i had a friend named t and basically my crush and a couple other boys used to always hang out with him and kick it with him after school and stuff like that and during school so they were like a whole little group and they all lived near each other and my best friend's house was just oh was just like down the street and like over a ramp from like their house and where they be hanging out at but yeah but us just us just flirting with each other and stuff like that and he asked me to be his girlfriend but i can't remember if i had a phone yet so I think I was texting using somebody else's phone to accept his proposal of being his girlfriend. Um, so yeah, and parents, just as, as a disclaimer, if your kid ever tell you that they let their friend use their phone and it wasn't them, it might be true because my friends were definitely letting me use their phones to do stuff and I did not have a phone. So yeah, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I was like, of course or whatever so um yeah so like like i said we me and my best friend already know this this their group's routine like they go probably play basketball or baseball or something at the park and then they're gonna go over the overpass and go back to their houses and they're probably gonna play tag or whatever the case may be but me and my best friend always just stayed at her house and she was also she also started talking to another boy from the group and um it was one day where i was at her, at her at her house and her man was over there and my man was over there and they were texting us like hey like y'all gotta come over here like we all we all over here whatever the case may be and my friend was kind of debating like dang should we go because her dad got home from work at a certain time and sometimes he would like pop up early and stuff like that so she didn't want to get in trouble but we did we was like forget it like <laughs> Fuck it, like we going, like <laughs> fuck it, we going. We doing some shit we not supposed to even be doing. We leave the house, we walking down the street, we constantly turning back, like looking down the street to see if her dad like had pulled into the driveway or whatever. But by the time we got down to the corner, we was just we realized like we was in the clear. So and then we walk over the overpass. I want to say I think they met us on the overpass. So and then we're just walking and stuff like that. We flirting, we all hugged up and kissing and stuff. Like, um, not like kissing on the mouth, not just yet, but you know, it was it was kind of like puppy love. It was real cute. Like, oh my god, like that's my crush. Like, this is what I've been wanting. This is what I've been asking for. This is what, yeah. Even though it came after my best friend did him, but. Whatever, I didn't care at the time. I had not had my first kiss yet. So, that day when we were together, I had my first kiss with my crush. Woo! I was just honestly in heaven. I'm in heaven, I got exactly what I wanted. I got my crush, I got my first kiss with my crush. I only spent like maybe like 25 minutes over there and then she was like, okay, okay, like come on, like, we gotta go and i want to say that t's girlfriend also showed up so it was me my best friend and t's girlfriend and then it was t my best friend's boyfriend and like a couple other boys so 
what do kids be doing anyways so she's like come on like let's hurry up we got to go back over to overpass like i don't want to get in trouble with my dad so i was like okay cool so and then we just like bye like i don't want to leave like i never want to leave like i just want to stay here with you oh my god i love you <sighs> kids we get back over the overpass her dad is not there her dad literally does not come into his designated time and by that time i believe i had already got picked up and went home and um this is when i'm gonna throw it all the way back for y'all okay so i was there when like myspace was transitioning into like facebook when like everybody was on myspace at first and then they slowly started transitioning to facebook so basically i got on facebook and i was friends with all the kids from my school on my facebook it didn't matter who who it was if we talked or not like i was friends with everybody on there but that was that is where i did like a lot of my communication so when i got home and got on my computer and I, it's crazy because i had like the whole computer set up before i actually had like a phone to text on you guys remember facebook used to have tiny chat like i used to be tiny chatting random kids from my school who i didn't even talk to and they would like answer so anyways I go home and i get on facebook messenger and she was like we could have stayed a little bit longer like my dad didn't even end up coming home like early or nothing like that and i was like yeah but like it's better to be safe than sorry and stuff like that and she was just so in love and i was just so in love and it's just like puppy love like it was a good time it was a good time so i want to say when that had happened it must have been like the end of september or maybe not maybe it was like the beginning of october because i remember around halloween is when stuff started kind of getting weird and i don't believe me and my crush dated for longer than two weeks it might have been like a week before Halloween like that whole week that whole second week that we dated he was acting really really strange like he was just acting really standoffish just really distant and I didn't understand what was going on like I didn't understand what was happening and so um me and my best friend's boyfriend Jay had actually became really really close and we were actually like really good friends because he was good friends with my crush and so that's basically how our friendship developed um and I, you know I would ask him I'd be like you know like what's going on like he acting weird also uh we had another guy friend one of my other guy friends in our group A I used to ask A all the time like what's up what, you know what's going on like when y'all go home in the afternoon like what's up i'm like he's acting so weird he's acting so distant everybody's just telling me like they don't know what's going on they don't know how he's doing that like blah 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 like but they're not really trying to get into it like that so i was like okay cool so halloween came and the plan was for our whole group so me and my best friend and the whole boy group to go trick-or-treating together so we was gonna go trick-or-treating with our boyfriend we walk over to t's grandma's house okay we're starting to trick-or-treat and everything is cool at first like he's okay he's kind of interacting with me but he's just not saying much and i was just like hey like are you okay like you know you're, you're acting a little strange and he's just like i'm fine like but he's just like real low energy like you know like not really giving me nothing kind of like paying me dust a little bit so i was like okay all right and as the night goes on as we keep going to houses and getting fucking candy and stuff like that you know i'm starting to feel some kind of way because my best friend and her boyfriend are happy t and his girlfriend are happy like why are we not happy why are we all up here and you walking way behind us all slow dragging your feet and when I, when I stop to wait for you then you walk even slower like he was just being like really standoffish and like I just didn't understand why or like where it was coming from and it really hurt my feelings this is a lot for a 12 year old okay I was going through it I was going through it and so that really hurt my feelings because it's just like everybody else is happy and I waited you know what I'm saying? All this time, like I was so excited to go trick or treating with you, and then just for you to just like treat me like it didn't even fucking matter. It was just over it or whatever. It's just it's like really made me feel unwanted. 
so I really wasn't feeling that so after that happened um I think I spent the night at my best friend's house on Halloween and then probably like a couple of days after that I was talking to um I can't remember who I had came to school hella early one time and you guys know it was really rare for me to be on time to school because I was always late and I was always absent um but I had came to school early and he was still being weird by the way so now I'm just like I've already had my emotional breakdowns I've been on the phone with T with A uh with with my friends with my friend's boyfriend jay like i don't know what's going on like i don't know why he's acting like this like why is he not talking to me like why is he ignoring me like why is he doing this to me so <laughs> so i just kind of when i came to school that morning i i talked to them again i talked to the boys again and then they was just like okay just ask him like he's standing right there go ask him and i i was shy i was scared to ask because i felt like you already didn't want to talk to me you already didn't want to be around me so it's just like why am i gonna why am i gonna ask you so like a 12 year old would do i wrote it on a note i wrote it on a note i was just like like are you mad at me like did I do something wrong? Like, did I, was it something I said? Like, why are you not talking to me? So, and then I, I, I passed it to one of the boys and then they passed it to him. Mind you, this is before class even started. This is early morning shenanigans. So, I'm sitting there waiting and I keep looking back and I don't really have nobody to talk to. I can't even remember who maybe I had told one time. I might have told Tina. Uh, Tina, if you're watching this again, hey girl. <laughs> You're the only person's name who I feel comfortable uh, saying because she was she, Tina was completely neutral. I love Tina. Um, so I may have told Tina that like I passed him a note or something like that. But I kept looking back, you know what I'm saying, to see if he was going to give it to me. Um, we were waiting for the bell to ring, by the way, so that we could all go into class. Mind you, it's awkward because we all got class together. So this whole time while he's acting weird, he's, not, he's paying no attention to me in class either. Ciao child i had a lot going on okay please so um i'm sitting there waiting for the note and i remember somebody came back and passed me the note i opened it and as soon as i opened it the bell rings for us to line up to go to class and okay i flip it on the other side because one side was my message and then i guess on the back side is what he wrote and then on the back side it read we're over oh You guys have to understand how this feels for me in this moment. It feels like I got kicked in my chest. It feels like somebody literally kicked a hole in my chest. And I literally have to line up to go into class and pretend like nothing happened. I'm already an emotional mess because of all the stuff that has led up to this point because he already was being kind of mean to me. You know, he wasn't being very nice. And then the way that he broke up with me was just very cold and just very, just very not caring, just very like not empathetic. Guys, I was so sad. And there were tears welling up in my eyes. And I just, I, I remember letting everybody line up so that I could be at the end of the line because I did not want anybody to see that I had tears in my eyes. Mind you, this at the same time, I'm seeing, witnessing this man, boy. I'm witnessing this boy chase around one of my classmates. He's flirting, he's flirting with her, he touching on her, he grabbing on her. Like, as soon as he broke up with me, he went in to go do that. And he did it right in front of me. So I was just like, I really can't catch a fucking break. So I'm standing there and she's like, the girl who he was chasing around, she was like, Cameron, come, come get your boyfriend. Like, he being annoying. Come get him. And I was just like, that's not my boyfriend. And she was like, you guys broke up. You guys broke up and I was just like, yeah. 
yeah just 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 it's all right just go so yeah drag myself into class try to like wipe my tears you know what i'm saying i don't i can't remember if i had told my best friend or not but i just remember that was just like a bad day for me um at school it was not a good day i had a horrible day and then i had to like i said i had to sit in class and pretend like nothing was going wrong and so the way that i'm feeling right now is like he did everything wrong <laughs> i don't think in my opinion like i just had a crush on you and i just wanted to be your girlfriend and i feel like i already put up with so much up until this point like you dated my best friend in front of me on top of y'all having doing pda and stuff in front of me for like six seven months well into the summertime and then i finally date you and you date me for two seconds and then break up with me for whatever whatever reason and then run around in front of me and chase around another girl after like three seconds after you just broke up with me so it really hurt my feelings because he just seemed like really uncaring about like my feelings and stuff like that and it kind of makes me wonder it's like you never really cared about my feelings did you yeah so i remember um after that point i was just a wreck i was just an emotional wreck as <laughs> as a 12 year old who had their heart broken by their crush after their two week relationship relationship and i just remember being on the phone with a at the time and i would just be crying and crying and crying and crying i cried a lot about that man and i was just like did you just think that you could talk to him <laughs> do you think that you could talk to him just after the way he did that So, and he was just like, why do you like him? Why do you want to date him? He is not all of that. He was like, why do you like him? He's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about A, he was going to, he was, he was going to tell it like it was. He was like, why do you like him? He is not charming. He's, he's stinky. He wear the same sweatshirt every day, the same Raider sweat, sweatshirt every day. Like, why do you like him? what you want me to say like the heart wants what the heart wants um and he was just like stop like and we have multiple conversations like that throughout the year like it took me a very long time to get over that and just settle like with that fact you guys I was really really hurt and you guys have to understand that this was a lot for me because like I said I don't I, I think I kind of touched on it briefly in the last story time but I already have low self-esteem so everything that is happening to me is like compounding one on top of the other and I have no idea no clue how to deal with it and of course I'm not gonna run to my mom and run to my parents and like explaining them what happened and then at the time like I'm 12 so I don't even have the full verbiage to like really um like break this down to where like it makes coherent sense you know what I'm saying so I kind of just left it alone just try to deal with it on my own and it was a lot um around the time I remember some time had went on but I was still kind of heartbroken you know and I would just be like dang like it must have been because I'm ugly huh it's because you think I'm ugly. And it's just like, ugly had nothing to do with it. Um, I'm glad I know that now, but I spent a lot of my days after school crying because I just thought I was so ugly and that was the reason why he didn't want to be with me and stuff like that. On top of other stuff happening. So this man dated like four or five other girls after me. I never dated anybody else after him, like, there was nobody else I wanted. There was no one else that I think wanted me. And if they did, like, I didn't know about it. But I do remember him getting into a couple relationships and stuff like that. But at this time, like, I feel like I was able to keep it together. This was probably maybe, like, six months after we dated and stuff like that. He got a new girlfriend. And she was new to the school or whatever. But she was just really annoying. Like, just this really agitating voice. 
you know and I was just like and I would be seeing them make out and stuff but they were like fully doing it it wasn't no, nothing like we had did well he had did some stuff with my best friend too but it wasn't nothing like what we had did they was full-on making out and stuff like that full-on like saliva to saliva and I was just like oh gosh <laughs> sorry i'm sorry like i said they were together and they dated for a while they dated for like three months or something like that me and him like damn near never talked after this like damn near never spoke like didn't have anything to say to each other really but um there was a little situation that was happening like with his girlfriend at the time i'm not sure why um maybe somebody had told her that i still had a crush on him but it's just like girl even if i did like i liked him first i knew him first your new booty around here like how do you think you checking shit so it was so drama filled because somehow some way she got my number and um i'm not sure how she got my number i'm not sure how she got my number one of them messy ass bitches gave her my number or whatever and i remember she called me and she was calling and hanging up and this was after school so i was still hanging out with um the boys so the phone i'd be like hello and i remember a snatching the phone from me and he was just like yeah who the fuck is this who is this speak up and then like he's so ignorant eventually i stopped answering and she left me a voicemail when she left me a voicemail that's when i realized who it was i was like oh no i know exactly who the fuck this is this that bitch you that bitch that think you got my man you that bitch that got my man she was like is this cameron you better check yourself before you break yourself and i'm like who the fuck a is like no that's that's his new girlfriend that's his new girlfriend i swear to god it is that's his new girlfriend so and then i'm just like how did she get my number he was like i don't know but she hella ugly she got hella acne and stuff she was just like mumbling and cackling over the phone and she thought it was funny so i remember my mom coming to pick me up and i let my mom hit a voicemail and i think my mom called that number back and gave gave her a piece of her mind um, so they never called again because my mom came and shut shit down, period, because that's how you do it. Um, and then the next day when we got to school, I remember talking to the girl who my crush was running around with. Remember when he first broke up with me? Because her and the new girlfriend was cool. So I was just like, me, you was kind of cool and you have my number. So I kind of feel like you gave it you gave out my number not sure why you gave out my number but i asked her i was like did you give her my number because i want you to listen to the voicemail that she left me she talking about you better check yourself before you break yourself girl who are you talking to meanwhile you got the phrase wrong like who are you talking to i let her listen to it and she was like yeah that's her like that is her and i was like so how did she get my number she was like i let her use my phone the other day to do something and she must have got your number from there so that was the that was what old girl was running with okay so at the last recess i remember i came out because her class was always out early because they were never learning shit they were out early and i remember coming out mind you all of this is happening and we're in the sixth grade <laughs> we are in the sixth grade i come out and i was like hey did you call me yesterday and leave a voicemail and she was like, did I leave a voicemail? I don't even have your number. I don't even have your number. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I knew I wasn't tripping. Yeah, because you, yeah, you wouldn't be calling my phone saying nothing. Bitch. That was the little issue or whatever. And then you guys, um, remember, like I said, I was still hanging out with um the boy group so i was still really cool with all of them still really tight with all of them like they were really like my friends friends like i used to hang out with them and talk to them like every day um and i remember my crush was having a birthday party and of course like my feelings are still raw like my feelings are still there but i can keep it together i can hold my composure you know what i'm saying like i don't have to be like falling all over him like boohoo crying or nothing like that so i remember um we went to his birthday party that he had at his house and he was still really rude to me there um i was just like yeah this is pretty stupid like i'm going home 
So me and A and T start walking back to T's house. And then I was talking to A about her. And I was just like, you know, why is he so rude to me? Like, why is he so standoffish? Like, he's so mean to me. And I don't know what happened. Like, we never got a chance to have an actual, like, conversation or, like, anything like that. It's like, he's just an asshole. Like... He's just not like a good person. Like, I don't know why you ever liked him. Like, why you want to talk to him? Like, you're too good for him. And I want to say, I want to say Jay had said the same thing. Like, why do you want to talk to him? Like, he ain't nobody. So I was just like, Ugh, okay, whatever. Like, I'm done trying. And then um, time went on or whatever. Like, things got better. Things got easier for me. Um, I was able to minimize my crying to at least like once a week now <laughs> at this point. From October to the end of the school year, guys, I did not get over this easily. And I don't think, I'm not going to say I don't think anybody would because maybe y'all would have. Maybe y'all would have gotten over this faster. Yeah, and that is part two of Best Friend Dated My Crush. Um, what I want to say is that probably like two years ago because I still talk to Jay from time to time um and I had brought it up I had brought up like oh you remember when I had a crush on so-and-so and I used to be crying over him all the time and stuff like that and I was just like yeah like I don't know why I ever thought that was gonna work because like he was really so mean to me and he didn't care about me and yeah he was just so rude to me like and I remember Jay telling me like he did used to talk about you and I was like what 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 do you mean he used to talk about me like no one told me shit what do you mean he used to talk about me that man never even thought about me like I was not even in this man's atmosphere I wasn't even on his radar like what do you mean he talked about me and he was like he used to talk talk to me about you and he used to say, like, he wished things could have been different between you guys and stuff like that. And I'm just like, why didn't you tell me this? Why you never told me this? And he was just like, you never asked me. And I was like, that's because I was too busy asking A's ass. And he did not give a shit. He wasn't going to get no damn answers for me. He wasn't going to get no answers for me. He was just like, forget about him. Yeah, he said, yeah, whatever. Forget about him. You don't need him. You better than that. And when I should have been asking Jay. I should have been asking Jay the whole time. Anyways, I was just like, wow. Like, this is really news to me because no one ever told me that he talked about me. He was just like, yeah, he did. So he was just like, I still don't think, you know, y'all need to be together. I don't feel like it would have made a difference. You know what I'm saying? But he did say that. You guys, I had my heartbreak really, really early in life. And as much, as painful as it was, it really gave me a lot of insight of how to deal with certain stuff later on in life. So maybe I am thankful. Maybe I am glad that I had my little obsessive and desperation moment when I was 12 years old instead of 29 or 28 or something like that I don't know but I'm grateful that it happened earlier in my life because um I was just just stronger like just dealing with boys because of that when I went to go look on that man's page because he is a man now we're all fully grown he looks nothing like what he looked like when he was a kid. I, I, I was like, mm, you look kind of funny. <laughs> Ugh, dodged a bullet there. But yeah, so y'all, that's going to wrap it up for part two of Best Friend dated my ex this is the last time i'm finna film with my phone like i already said you guys um we just finna keep going up we just finna keep upgrading we're gonna keep leveling up and we're gonna keep doing this and i'm gonna keep rocking with y'all and you're gonna keep rocking with me and we're gonna make it do what it do so i love y'all and i will catch y'all in the next one peace